Hello friends and enemies, welcome back to Happy For Now. It's me as well here with my quarterly favorites. I did this last year until the end of the year because of the move. So probably not gonna be a big surprise here. A lot of these things are gonna be things that I loved through my move and the process of like not having a house for a little bit and things that I really used a lot in that in between time and then some things I bought since I got the new house and absolutely adore it. I love timestamps down below for categories. Um, I just think this is fun. I always like sharing some of the things I personally have loved in the last quarter. And I think it's interesting because it gives you kind of a peek into like other things I do besides books and things I like. Um, so let's dive right into the makeup and skincare section. I've only got three items for this one. I've got a new item coming in the mail and I'm very excited about it and I'm hopeful it will be in the next favorites. <laughs> but that is, this is like three very simple basic things. First up we have the NYX Milk Pencil. This is the jumbo pencil. This was all over TikTok as a highlight and like an inner corner look. And I use this pencil so much. It is wild to me. I didn't think I would use it this much. It's in the color milk, which like you were saying cottage cheese or something. It's also another color option that might be better for some people. But for me, the, that one works really well. I often use it in the inner corner of my eye when I'm doing just like a very light, subtle look like I have today where I just kind of, you know, threw some color on and did a light wing eyeliner look like we're talking when i'm going basic it is one of my favorite things and you can like highlight your nose or your mouth with it it's just so versatile and i just couldn't believe that a white eye pencil would do that much for me but i absolutely adore it <laughs> next we have the tree hut scrub and tahitian, tahitian vanilla i feel like i've been so dry this winter because of the amount of cold fronts we've had um through Tennessee and Kentucky while I've been moving so not only it was like it co actually even colder in Kentucky when I was there we've gotten snow <laughs> since we moved in I moved into Tennessee like it has dropped temps multiple times and I feel like I'm crawling out of my skin kind of because of the random like up and down dry temperatures so it was really nice to find this tr this scrub I, it's nothing like fantastical or expensive which I also appreciate because like let's be honest you can go through a scrub so fast the one I was using before this was a little more expensive so I was happy to find this one I have the Tahitian vanilla scent and I love it uh, I just like give myself a scrub down once a week or so and it just feels nice to exfoliate and get off some of that dry skin from the winter and then do a nice like moisturizing <laughs> moment uh, you know, I, I really like it. I am so happy that I found a cheaper scrub that I like even more than the other one I was using. And last for skincare is the CeraVe Retinol. I'm using the resurfacing one. I'm sure the other ones are just as good. I love CeraVe products anyways, and I wanted to add a retinol to my routine that wasn't just a, um, like ordinary bottle dropper of retinol. I wanted like more of a cream retinol personally. So I've added this to my routine. I do it every four days and I've really enjoyed using it. I have noticed minimal changes probably from it. I do think it soothes some of my breakouts. I'm having a breakout right now, as we can see. That's on me though. That's from styling my hair um, the other day, I think, and having like hairspray and stuff get on my face. Anyways, uh, I've really enjoyed this retinol. It applies really easily. It's very creamy um, and it just glides onto your face. So I adore that. If you do use a retinol, please make sure you're using an SPF in the morning. Um, oh, I do have two new favorite SPFs, which I need to order more of. And what they're, I'll link them down below. They're on Stylevana. They're, uh, I'll show them. I'll show them to you here. I don't know their names, but I will show them to you here. I've really enjoyed both of these SPFs this winter and I plan to order more for the summer season. Um, but yeah, if you use a retinol, please, 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 please put SPF on in the morning please. Also put the retinol on and let it sit on your face for like a solid 10 to 15, 20 minutes. Don't just like go right into your next steps and don't use it nightly. Thanks. That's all. That's, that's my retinol PSA. I feel like I have to give a PSA whenever I talk about acids for skincare. Cause like, I don't want you to get hurt, <laughs> please. Uh, oh, and if you're curious, I have pretty normal skin. I would say sometimes a little dry, sometimes a little oily, depending on the weather, but for the most part, pretty normal, slight, slightly sensitive. Um, some things will break me out. Most things don't break me out, but not everything. Usually I'm, it's around here that I will break out from products. I don't usually break out on my like whole face or, you know, anywhere too much. It's usually on the sides of my nose, but just so you know, so the kind of products that work for me, if you have skin similar to mine may work for you again, slightly sensitive skin, pretty normal overall. If I'm in a very cold environment, I do get very dry though. 
All right, let's talk about my other hobby, video games. I love video games, and I recently got an Xbox One X, whatever the fuck the new one, the, whatever the new one's called, that that thing, the brick. Um, yeah, I recently got one, and I immediately signed up for Game Pass for a dollar for a month, and uh, then immediately got more Game Pass. <laughs> Because for me, it's perfect because that's how I like to play video games. Like I like to dive into stuff, play it for a while, and then I'm done. So there are two games that are on Game Pass that I'm loving right now and I'm very excited to finish up in April. One is Tunic. This is like a Legend of Zelda video game, uh, which if you didn't know, your girl's got the tattoo. This is so cute. You're this little fox and you're running around this area and it's very Legend of Zelda. Like you get a stick and then you get a sword and you're working on, you know, you get a shield. You work on getting different weapons. There's, there's dungeons to explore. And I'm just really enjoying it. I'm enjoying the mystery solving aspect. I do usually have a guide ready to go while I'm playing it, but for the most part, I've been stumbling my own way through it. Uh, but it's just really, really cute. Very like great visuals the music's fun it's been a great audiobook game uh like i'm able to listen to other things and play it without uh missing anything and still following and unraveling the puzzles and stories but i am obsessed with tunic cannot wait to just spend hours playing it over the next like month and the other game is the guardians of the galaxy game which was a big surprise i listened to gaming podcasts and <laughs> they all talked about this in their end of the year game of the year stuff and i was like I kind of want to play this game and then I saw it was coming to Game Pass and I was like perfect I just got the Xbox I can Game Pass it um and I've been really surprised this is a third person shooter like Mass Effect style uh it reminds me of Mass Effect gameplay honestly it's from Square Enix and I'm really really liking it I think this was a big surprise for me I love the banter the, the way they all talk the group the characters I really like Guardians of the Galaxy comics and this is definitely Guardians of the Galaxy comics not movie franchise does that make sense they definitely tried to make them similar and you've got that same humor but i'm really overall enjoying this and it's a big surprise to me because if you told me i was gonna like a guardians of the galaxy video game i would have told you you were on something um <laughs> but yeah it has been a really fun one to play and i'm really excited that it came to game pass next we have things as i'm calling it <laughs> Things are the things in my life right now that I'm enjoying immensely and I just want to talk about them. So first things first, I got a new tea kettle. Um, you've probably seen my old tea kettle in videos. I'm donating it. I just was ready for a new one. I wanted something that opened better and that is why I got the beautiful by Drew Barrymore tea kettle from Walmart for not that much money. And I have been thrilled with this thing. I have been making myself the Starbucks medicine ball tea situation with it. I have boiled water for things. It has just been magnificent. It boils the water so fast and it has different temp settings. So next fall when I'm back into tea season, or if I bring myself some uh, iced tea here probably pretty soon, this thing is going to be perfect because I can actually customize the temp. My other tea kettle was just boil on off, which is part of why I wanted the upgrade. And yeah, I just love this. It looks so nice on my countertop and I'm working on putting together a coffee bar area. So when I have that, this is just gonna look fantastic. The other thing that I am loving in my kitchen is this cup stand that I got. So I have a bunch of Stanley tumblers, like the big 40 ounce tumblers and a bunch of these. Like I got, I got cups, I like cups. Who doesn't like cups? Anyways, I've got a bunch of different tumblers from places and I wanted a way to store them that I could quickly see them and grab out different tumblers as needed. Uh, my friend Megan over at The Best Romance found this and sent it to me and I was like, perfect, that's what I'm gonna get. She also got one. It has been great for cup storage. I was able to fit all of my Stanley tumblers on there. Um, I have four, three, four. I have four, but I usually always have one in rotation. So it holds all my three other ones. Um, if it's some of my Yeti type cups, Arctic's, my Starbucks, all of that's on there. Here's a picture of it on my coffee bar that is not complete yet. But this has been so nice to have and I'm very excited to like get it into the coffee bar eventually. But oh, I didn't realize how scattered my cups were until I was then given a place to organize them. Uh, and then the last like somewhat kitchen slash wherever item is this visual timer. This is the dorkiest thing in my life, but I talk about it a lot. I have ADHD. Sometimes putting a timer on my phone is not enough and I need a timer I can see visually where I'm at in the, in the sprint that I'm doing. So I will do a sprint for let's say 15 minutes to clean a space I don't wanna do or do a task I don't wanna do like fold laundry. And I can take this timer with me wherever in the house, turn it on to that, and I can look up and realize that like, oh look, 
That task didn't even take you 15 minutes or 20 or whatever it was. And it is the best thing ever. I love this visual timer. I highly recommend one if you like visual things like that or if you have ADHD, it has been a godsend for me. I'm not gonna lie to you, the best. Um, and then we've got two clothing items and one thing that came into big time play with the move. So one item is my new Van Skate uh, Highs. They're the MTE edition. They are weatherproof, so they don't get wet. They're kind of fuzzy, warm, lined inside. I'm running out of season to wear them. It's gonna be too warm here very quickly, but when I was in the middle of the move, I got these in February before some of the snow hit here in Tennessee, and it was the best being able to put these on and like go outside. They have like extra traction on the bottom as well, so I was able to walk in inclement weather and get around just fine, and they're really, really comfy. So I'm very thrilled I got these, and I have been loving them. Uh, highly recommend for anyone who lives in a climate that gets a lot of rain. Then we have my Bucky sweatshirt, which I'm wearing today. Here it is. It says Winter Soldier. It's styled like a Converse. I got this on Etsy and I'm actually probably gonna order a second one. It is my new favorite sweatshirt um, for not cold days. I have a favorite cold one, but we'll talk about that eventually. Um, this has become a quick favorite. It has a really, it's actually a nice screen print. I was worried that it would be like a crappy screen print, but it's like a big patch screen print almost. Um, so it's real thick. It's very nice. I have stained it and gotten the stains out of it multiple times. Like I had spaghetti sauce on it. I had a stain down here. It, I got it all out just with some Dawn dish soap and vinegar. Like it came right out. No problems. It's a very comfy, very like middle midweight to lightweight feeling. So like it's going to last, like I'll be able to wear this all year round basically in the South, but I'm obsessed with it. Um, if you're new here, I love Bucky Barnes the winter soldier i mean i don't feel like that's a surprise i literally have a backpack it's a whole thing in my life it's fine uh but yeah i have been obsessed with the sweatshirt i have been wearing it a ton you've seen it in a ton of videos obviously i'm sorry i just like sometimes i get a piece of clothing that i just don't ever want to take off and this is one of them uh and then last thing that super helps me during the move is this portable laptop stand which was something i thought like i didn't really need but once I got it and started using it, it was a game changer. So this thing collapses down. I'll show you. I'm going to overlay a video of it. So it collapses down really tiny and then you can pull it out and expand it and set your laptop on it to like raise it up to work. So I've been working a lot, like no mouse, just my laptop editing videos and making notes and getting stuff together for content. And it has been a lifesaver to be able to lift my laptop up a little bit and work. Uh, it is one of my favorite things that I've purchased recently and honestly, I'm probably gonna buy a second one so I can have one that stays home on my desk and one that is in my travel bag because that's how much I love this thing. All right, let's talk about shows. I don't have any podcasts this time, which is weird, but it happens. So right now I'm super obsessed with Murderville. We've watched three of the like six episodes so far and I'm living for it. We're just like slowly watching it because it is so, so good. This is on Netflix, this has Will Arnett, and it is a improv show where Will and the whole other cast of the show, except for the special detective guest star, know the plot of the show and like what's happening. And they have to, the other person has to basically improv their way through it. And it is chaos and it is hilarious. I loved it. I've watched, I watched the first three. So I watched through Camille's uh, episode and I really, really enjoyed his. His was, I was like almost crying laughing. This is so fun. It's so goofy. If you want to laugh, highly recommend. The other thing that I'm very excited to watch soon uh, that just dropped before I filmed this, actually not before, but it just dropped and I haven't gotten a chance to because I gotta watch Bridgerton first, is Starstruck Season 2. If you didn't watch Starstruck Season 1 on HBO, it's on HBO Max, um, you need to get on that. This is like a romance person, like a romance reader's show. This is a celebrity romance. Um, they have like a weird run in at a bar and it's just like their slow evolution to dating. It's a very slow burn, but it's a very cute, very handsome stars. Uh, the guy is really handsome. The lady's really pretty too. Like it's just, you should watch it. It's very funny. I really enjoyed it and I need to watch season two ASAP, but I like want to sit down and watch the whole thing in one go. Uh, and then last is the anime we're currently watching, uh, which is Hunter x Hunter. Uh, Netflix in the fall, I think, dropped like a whole bunch of episodes. We started that and we are almost done <laughs> with all of those new episodes that dropped. And I'm really enjoying Hunter x Hunter. It is weird. This is a weird show. And I do feel like whoever 
wrote hunter hunter has a weird thing for kids possibly i'm not really sure honestly it's very weird but it is like that wonderful kids adventure show where they're on this quest to find Gohan's dad and I really really like that part of it. Time for the last section, the most exciting section probably for many of you, bookish. So before the move I got, actually during the move, I got two amazing things that are bookish related. So I've had a book bean forever which are these little like bean shaped, they're kind of like a mini nursing pillow that you can like put your hands on. Well Target came out with these tablet reading pillow situations and let me tell you, it has become the biggest game changer of my life, especially in these cold winters, because I put my Kindle on it and I have a page turner. I will, I will show you this thing in action, of course. But um, I have a page turner, so it has a little clip that you clip on and a remote, and you can turn your Kindle pages remotely so I can be snug under my blankie, reading my book, and turn the page. I can be eating my meal and turn the page without touching my Kindle and getting it dirty and gross. This works on both of my devices. I do now have a paper white signature and a Kindle Oasis. So it works on both of them. And it has been the biggest game changer in my reading to date because I really enjoy being able to lay on my side and read in bed or be able to be under my blanket and read at night. It just, makes it so easy um and i have adored having this thing so much i cannot express to you how much i love this dang thing uh I, these are both tiktok finds and honestly have made me so happy <laughs> it has truly truly been one of the best investments for my reading that i've ever made if you're like me and that kind of reader where you want to lay on your side you don't always want to hold the kindle it's just been nice it's been nice to be able to put it on this little tablet stand and read away and click those buttons. I don't know why I find it even more enjoyable than holding the Kindle, but I do highly, highly, highly recommend the page turner and tablet pillow. The tablet pillow I have, I will link to down below. Only some targets still have them in stock. They are on clearance now, uh, but I'll link to a couple duplicates that are similar. They're not exactly the same, but they're very similar to the target one. So if you're interested, those will, both of these will be linked in. And I will make a note if the page turner is out of stock again when I post this video. Currently as a filming it is in stock but they do kind of like sell out and come back and forth a lot. So that's it for all my favorites. If you made it this far in the video leave me a heart emoji of your choice and let me know one of your favorite things from the last quarter if you'd like. I will be back with my next video. There are links to everything in my description box as well as links to be my friend anywhere on the internet. I will catch y'all in just a few days. Bye! Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away.